Hello and welcome everyone to the daily news analysis of 9th of February 2024. So, today's important article one by one discuss. First, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka Navy arrested 19 Indian fishermen, then towards uniformity, charting a path for the population community. R&D spent golden intervention or smoke and mirror. Then the Paytm Payment Bank defense debacle. Sorry, the Paytm Payment Bank debacle. A total of 19 fishermen were arrested by the Sri Lankan Navy on Thursday, while 17 of them belong to Rameswaram and Thangachi Madam in Tamil Nadu. The others two were from Odisha. Sources in the Marine Police and the Fisheries Department initially revealed the name of the only 17 fishermen, saying the identities of two. Other were unknown. Around 11 a.m. when the Sri Lankan authorities stated that the 19 arrested fishermen included two from Odisha, fisheries department officially in Ramanathapuram conducted, conducted an inquiry. An officer in rank of assistant director in the fisheries department said that a preliminary inquiry had revealed that the two boats impounded by the Sri Lankan authorities had 19 people, 12 plus 7. It was said that some fishermen had taken the two persons from Odisha with them as helpers and they are and that they are engaged in construction work in Rameswaram. Though the fisheries department official, officials said that they had issued 492 tokens, many boats had ventured into the sea without a token. Thus, officials said the fisheries department had issued notice to all boat owners in Ramanathapuram district asking them to ensure that only fishermen from Tamil Nadu ventured into the sea. This was perhaps the first time that two persons from Odisha had been arrested along with the fishermen from Ram Rameswaram in Palk Bay. Though there had been instances of detention during deep sea fishing, officials said condemning the arrest PMK founder S. Ramapo Ramados said the center and the state government should take measures to find a permanent solution to the issue. Next, towards uniformity. A, un a uniform civil code UCC is a desirable and progressive goal for a secular country. However, mere uniformity without making reasonable allowances for diverse cultural and soci social practices among different social groups may not be ideal. The UCC adopted by the Uttarakhand Assembly aims to consolidate the laws relating to marriage, divorce and succession among all communities. The state has, has become the first since pre-independence Goa to adopt <clears throat> a uniform code of civil matters. What is particularly violative of the construction constitution is the bizarre of proportion in the in this UCC aiming to formalize live in relationships through restrictions. This unwanted incursion into citizens' personal life is worsened by the prescriptions of a three-month prison term for non-registration. It will expose, expose citizens to <coughs> intrusive inequality, in, inquiries, social hostility, and pointless deprivations of liberty. While it contains positive features such as conferring legitimacy on children born of living relations and mandating mental maintenance in the event of desertions. The very idea that the people living together should submit themselves to registration and verification is repugnant to individual rights. When the constitution maker made the adoption of UCC, one of the directive principal opinion was divided on whether a UCC will determine undermine minority rights to promote equal status for women in all religions 
बी आर अम्बेडकर फेल्ड द यू सी सी इफ इनेक्टेड शुड बी वॉल्यूमटरी इफ द इन द इनिशियल स्टेजेज द प्रिवियस लॉ कमीशन हेड सेड यू सी सी इज नाइदर डिजायरेबल नॉर नेसेसरी एंड इन इनस्टेड सजेस्टेड दैट इच बॉडी ऑफ पर्सनल लॉ बी रिफॉर्म to eliminate discrimination or regressive practices however the present law commission has revived the idea and has start, started gathering views from the public much of the uttarakhand courts code seems to have the have been borrowed from existing laws on marriage and successions but with significant omissions for instance the code is uh, is the only avenue for dissolving a marriage and there is there is no waiting period to remarry after a divorce nor nor is there any need for a woman to marry another person's person before she can remarry her former husband these provisions which eliminate the concept of idat talak talak nikah halala are all progressive and further individual rights inter interestingly it preserves the existing provisions allowing customs and uses as an exception to the bar on marriage within prohibited degrees of relationship but adds a Art say rider that such customs cannot be assigned against public policy or morality, and unfortunate fallout of all this is a polarizing discourse taking shape in the run up to general election. The concept of justice should not be lost in the search of for search for uniformity, which should be no more than <coughs> an in incidental consequences of equality. द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल है चैटिंग चैटिंग ए पार्ट ऑफ द फॉर द पॉपुलेशन कमिटी द अनाउंसमेंट इन द इंटरिम बजट ऑफ ए हाई पावर कमिटी टू एन एक्सटेंसिव कंसीडर द चैलेंज एराइजिंग फ्रॉम रैपिड पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एंड डेमोग्राफिक चेंजेस इज ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग इवन इट्स मल्टीफेसिड मॉडर्न मैंडेट as it is a, it is to make a recommendation on how to address the challenges in line with the goal of viksit bharat the anticipation is that there will be, there will be a formation formulation of policies and strategies to manage population growth this will means addressing issues such as family planning matern, maternal and child health education employment and socio economic development the to do so this population committee must adopt an interdisciplinary approach drawing on expertise from the fields such as demography public health economics sociology and governance though rigorous research data analysis and monitoring or demographic trend the committee should identify emerging issues and evaluate the effectiveness of existing interventions collaboration with various stakeholders including government agencies non governmental organization civil society groups academia and the private sector is essential to foster partnership and enabling collective actions to carry out population related policies and programs at the national and grassroots levels in addition to policy formulation and implementation the committee should lay emphasis on public awareness and education campaigns by empowering individuals and communities with accurate information and resources it should promote responsible family planning practices and improve health outcomes the population <clears throat> committee should also facilitate international collaboration and the exchange of best practices in population management past present future india's demographic landscape has undergone significant shift over the years with women having fewer children the working age population increasing the elderly population rising steadily there has been a decrease in the dispensary dependency so the dependency ratio leading to economic growth however navigating the opportunity and the challenges presented by these demographic changes will significantly shape india's future economic and demographic landscape according to the latest projection by the united nations india's population is expected to reach 1.46 billion by 2030 comprising 17% of the world's projected population while india experienced a phenomenal 
population growth until our 1970s growth rate have slowed since then with fertility levels in steady decline this decline which is revealed reflected in the total fertility rate has been instrumental in shaping india's demographic trajectory with the tfr projected to touch 1.73 in 2031-35 from 2.5 In 2019-2911, to India will witness the demographic transition characterized by a decreasing proportion of child proportion population and an increasing proportion of working age population. The demographic dividend resulting from a sustained drop in fertility rates and increased concentration of population in working age group present an opportunity for accelerated economic growth per capita. However, realizing this potential necessity is necessitates investment in health, education, and skill development to harness the demographic dividend effectively. Projections for life expectancy in India also so positive trends with female and male life expectancy is expected to rise. Moreover, the proportion of the working age population is projected to increase, giving India an opportunity to, to capitalize on its demographic advantages. The max, to maximize the benefit of a favorable age distribution. India must invest in greater development of its human capital. This includes initiatives to create new jobs, in integrate the informal sector with the formal sector and empower the female labor force to increase their participation rates. According as additionally, efforts to address gender disparity, improve access to <coughs> Education and health care and promote family planning practices that are crucial in ensuring an inclusive and sustainable development, health, education, employment challenges. One of the key challenges in India, India's demographic landscape is ensuring access to quality health and health care and education for every segment of the remainder around 1% of GDP, underscoring the need for policies that prioritize health promotions and allocate greater finances to health infrastructure initiative to strengthen primary health care, particularly in the rural areas have yielded results which include improved child and maternal health care and life, higher life expectancy rates. However, challenges persist especially regarding nutrition deprivations among children leading to hunger and insecurity and impairing physical and cognitive development addressing the challenges requires requires concerns concerned efforts to ensure access to essential commodities nutrition programs targeting vulnerable population and interventions to improve water availability and sanitation similarly in investment in education and skill demo skill development are crucial in order to realize india's demographic dividend according to unicef on nearly 47 percent of india's indian youth may lack the necessary education and skill for employment by 2030 the disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic have exacerbated the challenges with it. over 250 million children forced out to outcomes <coughs> to address these issues, increased investment in nutrition and early childhood, childhood education is crucial. It is suggested that pre-primary <coughs> education is included in the right to education designing play-based flexible curricula and engaging parents and communities stakeholders to generate demand and uh, demand for early childhood education are other measures to improve outcomes according to accordingly efforts to bridge the gap between the existing skill, skill development initiatives and industry requirements are essential to Reduce unemployment and increase productivity. Evidence-based decision making. A critical challenge for evidence-based policy is the availability of accurate and timely data. India faces significant challenges regarding the non-availability of current and reliable data on its population, which hampers evidence-based policy making. It is crucial that the population committee includes improvement in data collection methodologies, technology adoption capacity building and collabor collaborations with the stakeholders to address these challenges. India needs to invest in <coughs> modernizing its data infrastructure which includes establishing robust system for data collection <coughs> management and analysis. This involves upgrading data collections methods, adopting 
digital technology for data processing and ensuring data security and privacy regular and comprehensive national demographic data india should prioritize the <coughs> timely and accurate executive of these initiatives including marginal id and hard to reach a population implementing rigorous validation and quality assurance mechanism is essential to ensure the independent audit data validation exercises and peer review <coughs> process can help identify and rectify data errors and inconsistencies it would be vital for the committee to explore the feasibility of in including such quality assurance method within the statistical system another promising area in the promotion of open data initiative and transparency in data shaping which can facilitate access to population data for researchers policy makers and the public making population data freely available in the standardized format promotes data reuse transparency and accountability finally collaboration with international organizations such as united nations and the population division world bank and academic institution can provide access to global best practices technical expertise and funding <coughs> opportunities for population data collections and analysis india's demographic and landscape presents both socio economic development by adopting a hostility holistic approach to population management management prioritizing investment in health education employment and statistical system and promoting gender equality and socio social inclusion achieved <coughs> achieve inclusion inclusive and sustainable development with strategic planning effectiveness implementation and international collaboration india can navigate its demographic transition to emerge a global leader in inclusive and sustainable development so friends this is all for today and we will meet from tomorrow onwards with new news articles from the hindu newspaper which are relevant from upsc perspective so till then keep studying and thank you for listening have a good day